It's thought that as many as 8 million people in the UK have a compulsive buying disorder. Shopping is my life. Like, I live to shop. I'm not married yet, and shopping is like my husband, like my companion. I've been told about 30-year-old Dipna, a self-confessed shopping addict. Thank you. Have a lovely day. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Capable of spending thousands in a single transaction. I do feel as if it's out of my control. I might not want to buy, but I just buy it. She's filled a wall of wardrobes with designer jewellery, shoes, blazers and bags. This was 3,000, this was 1,600 and the wallet was about 700 pounds. I got credit cards, that's probably the worst thing that I could have done. Despite living at home, earning £500 a week teaching and writing about cookery and co-managing her dad's restaurant, Dipna is struggling to fund her habit. I'm in about £7,500 debt. These earrings are like £200 each, £220, £250. When I can't go shopping, it depresses me. I've cancelled work just so that I can go shopping. I know that's not a good thing. I can't imagine there being absolutely no shopping. I don't know what I would do. What else would I do if I didn't shop? What would I have to look forward to? Nothing. There'd be no life without shopping. I don't think I've ever met anybody before who sees shopping as their best friend or their life partner. You know, you can't have a relationship with shopping. It sounds silly, doesn't it, even to say it out loud. But Dipna really feels that that is the meaning to her life. The trouble is, she's getting into debt, she feels depressed if she can't go shopping. Hi. To me, that sounds like quite a serious problem. Dipna already has more clothes than she could possibly wear, but I see no signs of her slowing down. How much did you spend yesterday? Oh, £1,500. I didn't want to, but I tried not to think about it. That's quite a shopping spree. Yeah. Most of the things she buys are pushed to the back of her cupboards and still have their labels on. It's quite a lot there you haven't used. Yeah. But then when you go to the shop and you see it, and it's just that moment and you're just like, oh, that's really nice. Or oh, what the hell, just buy it. You're not in control. You're not, you're not really able to say, no, I'm not, bu I'm not buying it. No, I'm unable to do that. Who's in control? The little voice inside of me. <laughs> 600 pounds. You look like you don't like them. They're not my cup of tea, is the honest really? truth. But that doesn't matter because yeah. I'm not going to be wearing them. How £485. <laughs> Yesterday I said to Mum, right, that's it now. I'm going to start saving up because I'm going to buy a car. Have you already got a car? Yeah, but the car new? I've got is the old Mercedes. There's a new one coming out in a few months, a new shape. So right. like, I've got my heart set on that. And it's really important to have the new shape. Yeah. And I'll take it on lease. And then if I'm paying that off every month, I know I'll have that pressure. That might stop me from shopping so much. Or I know just I might get you in more debt. I mean, does that ever cross your mind that you yeah, could stick with the old car and you could have the extra money every month to pay off your debt? But I wouldn't. You wouldn't? Why not? I'll probably just use that money to like, either shop more or I would go and get the car. So the way you look at it is that that money, you might as well use it on a new yeah, car. Yeah, I might as well use it on a new car before I use it. Because otherwise you're going to use it on shopping. shopping. Yeah. Which makes sense. No, it doesn't. I'm looking at all of this and it's actually mind-boggling to think how much money's worth of stuff you've got here. Yeah. It's got to be like hundreds of thousands yeah. of pounds worth of stuff. Yes, yeah, a lot of stuff. So this is where the rest of your stuff's hidden, yes. is it? This is our storage space. 
I don't have enough room downstairs. My future husband better have a big house, that's all I'm saying. So where did your love of shopping begin? I think I blame my mum and dad. Cause Why? Because as, as a child, they spoilt me. Whenever I used to go out with mum, she always used to buy us something. And when dad was with us, he always used to take, in the sh take us in the shop and say, right, guys, get what you want. Would you say that you're addicted to shopping? Yeah, for sure. What makes it an addiction? The fact that I can't stop. And I think if I did ever stop, or someone did try and stop me, I, I don't think I would be Dipna and I wouldn't be where I am today if I didn't. So you would lose your identity? Yeah, I think I would. Because there's a lot more to you, Dipna, than just shopping. There is, there I is. think. Me as a person, I love children. And I think if I, ha if I ever had kids, which I will, I'm sure, in the future, um, I think that will make me, you know, forget shopping because my love of kids is even more extreme than my shopping, so, yeah. <laughs> that makes me feel kind of sad. <laughs> I think she's lonely. And I think the shopping is almost a replacement for having someone in her life to love and to cherish. And so instead, she loves and cherishes all these other material things. Click on screen for more videos of extraordinary humans.